Hey guys, welcome back to Liquid Art. Today's tutorial is going to be of this bike ride in the mountains. It's in aid of Will and Hospice, so please go and donate in the link below. So all of this is step by step. You can paint at your own speed. And we originally did this with Energy Fitness in Milton Keynes. So if you couldn't make it, do this one now. So guys, other than your drink, here's everything that you're gonna need for this tutorial today. So first up, we've got our canvas in the middle. We've got a square one here. We've then got our three paint brushes. We've got big, medium, and small. Some kitchen towel, and then over here in a jam jar, I've got some water for our paint water. We've then got our palette. I've covered it in cling film for easy cleaning, and we've got the acrylic colors, white, sky blue, blue, black, red, and yellow. So we're gonna mix all these colors together today to make the colors for this painting. So when you guys are ready, other thing you're gonna need is a pencil to start with. So I've just got a pencil here and what we're going to do is we're just going to draw across here. This is kind of our, it's not so much a cliff for this one, it's just going to be the line of where our flowers and our biker's path is going to be. We're then going to do a rough idea over here of our front mountain, so the one that's closest to us. And then we're going to build up behind that. So we're just doing a few here. I'm going to share a reference photo up here so you guys can see this a little bit better as well. I've just done this really nice and faint. I don't want you to do this really hard, otherwise you're going to have pencil lines all over this painting. This is going to make a lot more sense as I paint this. So first up for our painting bit, you're going to take your big paintbrush, give it a really good wash, a little bit of a dry off, and you're going to take some white and mix a tiny bit of that sky blue into it to make a really nice light blue. I'm just going to paint this top section here, which is going to be our sky. So I'm just adding a little bit more of that blue in, just to make it a little bit more of a bolder blue colour. And we're just going to paint across our canvas. So if you find that it's the the paint isn't moving very much, you might want to add a little bit more water to this. If you find that it's too runny, just dab it off and use a little bit more paint. So now I'm using a little bit more white and I'm bringing this right down to the lines that I've created with our mountains. I'm just going to brush it in. We just want a really nice light blue colour up here. Also, if you've got a canvas like me, remember to do the edges of your canvas as well, paint all the way around them, so that when you hang it up on a wall, it looks really nice. So this doesn't need to be a block colour, you can have a few bits of white, a few bits of blue. You just want to blend them in nicely together so they're seamless. Lovely. So now we're going to add some clouds in. So I just want you to just take a little bit of white on your brush and you're just going to dab a few areas. Good. just keep dabbing this and if you dab straight on top of it or you could use your finger if you want to we're just going to blend these clouds in nice and subtly into our side lovely so now I want you to wash your paint brushes for me guys and now we're going to go on to our next bit of building up our mountains. What I want you to do is take your small brush for me now, a little bit of white, a little bit of blue. And now how you do mountains, you want the lightest colour for the furthest mountain away and then we're going to get darker as we get closer. So we're just going to paint this in a really nice light soft blue. And I'm just going to mix a little bit of that sky blue in as well. Now 
And we're just going to paint the edge of our mountain and then fill it in. Remember, this is the furthest one away from us.
So all we're doing for this bit is we're adding our clouds. So notice I'm just dabbing them in and I'm just letting them slowly fade out into the paint that's already on our canvas in the sky. So you can just do a few of these, you could do none if you want to, it's entirely up to you guys. If you need it to blend a little bit more, you might need a tiny little bit more water. Or you can even just blend this with your finger, that will work perfectly. But we just, I wanted to just make sure that my sky blue colour was still coming through. Um, I think that colour is really gorgeous. So once you guys have done that bit, I'm just washing my brushes quickly and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to even out some of our mountain lines. So if you look at this one, uh, it looked quite patchy, I just wanted to sort this out while I'm doing this bit. Um, but you don't have to worry about this too much guys, remember this bit is not the focus of the painting, it's just the background, um, so your eye shouldn't be on that. I'm just going to wash my brush now. And in a second, the next bit that we're going to go on to, we're going to use our small brush to start with. I'm just going to take some blue, some yellow, and make a green colour. So I want quite a dark green here, and this is going to be for our tree line, okay? So how are you going to draw your trees? You're just going to do a few straight lines across our mountains that we've already done, coming towards this cliff bit that we haven't drawn yet. So you're just going to dot them along. You can do as little or as many as you like. I actually covered this line with these trees. And then you just kind of do a kind of little shimmy down starting from the top of those little lines and you want it to start thin and get a little bit thicker as you come down you could do this really slowly you could dab them if you want to it's up to you but i found this little trick was best so you just kind of just pull it down from the top of each line now i'm adding a little bit more black into my green to make it a little bit darker this time i'm going to go over a few of these you don't have to go over all of them because some of them could be different shades of green uh, you could do them really bright green if you wanted to, but I found the darker colours worked best on this. So just make sure that they're kind of thinner on top, going in like a triangular shape and thicker towards the bottom. So think of like a Christmas tree, you're going for that kind of shape with this one. So these ones down here are a little bit bigger. We want these a little bit bigger because they're a little bit closer to us. If you think about distance wise, these will be closer, so they'll be bigger, and then further away will be smaller.
Right then, guys, a last little push of our mountain. So what we need to do now is we are just going to create our cyclist. So if you wanted to leave this painting here, that's absolutely fine. You don't have to do the cyclist. Maybe you could do a horse riding up the mountain, <laughs> whatever you guys want to do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mix some uh, red and yellow together and some white as well. And this is just going to be the skin tone of our biker so this is rob that we're doing getting up this mountain remember um so all we're doing here is we are just going to do a little bit for the calves of our cyclist as he's riding away from us so it's just a little bit here and what we're going to do once we've created that color and we're happy with it what we're going to do is we're going to take it over to this side of our canvas we're then going to go about halfway down that track that we created and all we're simply going to do is we're just going to do one line going down. So this is one calf and the other one's going to be slightly higher up and a little bit smaller. If you think about a bike, somebody has one leg higher than the other. That's how we've drawn it. So now wash your brush. You're going to take some blue and some light blue, mix it together. And this is going to be our T-shirt. So we're just kind of doing a rounded rectangular shape, almost meeting uh, the legs that we've already drawn. And once you've done that, I'm just adding a little bit of white just to give it a few little highlights in here. Just to lighten it just slightly. We will change the colour anyway. Remember, Will and Hospice's, Hospice's colour is blue. That's why I've done the t-shirt blue for this one. We're now going to take some black. And it's not a really dark black. This is more of a grey. And we're just going to do the shorts on our cyclist. So we are just going to do... Uh, a little arch shape joining up between the t-shirt and the legs. Now I'm going to helmet on our cyclist as well. So I've just done it in black for this one. It's just a little circular shape above the t-shirt. And now I'm going to take some more black and we're going to do the saddle. So this is between where the shorts are. And then we're going to bring this down and we're going to create the tire of our bike. As it's facing away from us, all it's going to be is just a line with a little bit of a rounded bit at the top and the bottom. Then we've got a front tyre as well, so we're just doing exactly the same thing, just at the front. And then we're going to do all the feet and tie it all together. joining up that saddle and now I'm just doing a handlebar at the front here. You can do the other side as well but you might not be able to see that from this angle. And all I've done is just colour these shorts in a little bit more. So now I'm going to wash my brush. All you're going to do is take a little bit of white, I'm just doing the socks of our cyclist. You could change these colours if you want to, I'm just doing a little bit of white, I thought it helped. Um, and then we're going to take some more blue and we're going to rework this t-shirt. I'm just colouring it in a little bit more and I'm also creating a bit more of an arm to link up to the handlebars. I'm just colour this in white as well, just a little bit more things going on. And now the last little bit I want you guys to do is take a little bit of a grey colour, a little bit darker and I just want you to draw a kind of a track from the cyclist, a bit of a shadow going down to the bottom of our canvas. So it kind of shows where he's come from. So guys, once you've done that, you are done. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this painting and please donate to Will & Hospice. The link is in the description below if you do this painting because it just helps them raise money. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. We have been Liquid Art. We get people drunk and teach them to paint. If you want to paint along with us again, there are loads of videos on our YouTube channel. Just tick whichever ones you like and we hope to see you again soon. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah, please donate to Women Hospice. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you again soon. And also share with us your paintings. We want to see what you created as well.